There certainly will be atmosphere. I mean, the Rangers fans have travelled a long way. Uh, they'll, they'll be down here. Typical Scottish crowd. They'll make lots of noise and they'll create lots of atmosphere. But 70s. Uh, Baker. That's a decent ball by Baker. And it's an in goal. Unbelievable start. And Rangers go behind. And it's Perini who put the ball past Niemi. The first ball played into the penalty area and Rangers' defence was all over the place. One red shirt in there and Billy, that is an absolute disaster. Well, it's certainly bad defending, but, you know, Jonas Tern was away for us. A little bit more care and attention would have worked wonders there. Well, McCarthy goes in and it's bobbing around and it's a goal and it's Rutherford. Absolutely incredible Rangers' defence all over the place once again and they were stood like statues and there must have been two or three attempts McCarthy came charging in the keeper was absolutely nowhere Morley couldn't get his foot on it and Rutherford did and there could be real history in the making here goes Morley Morley into the penalty area oh Morley number three for Shelburne and what a marvellous finish, really coolly done by Morley. And it's going from bad and bad to worse and worse for Glasgow Rangers. And the boos beginning to ring around here now. It's a disaster this for Glasgow Rangers. It certainly is, and really that's where they've had the problem, because whatever pressure they've, they've imparted on Shelburne in the second half, can Rangers come back from this? It would be some monumental effort. It's going to need every ingredient that they've not shown so far. They've got a corner, though, and it will be taken by Albert. Outswinging corner. Handball. And Rangers have got a penalty. Well, an immediate reply. Stepping up is uh, the number 11, Albert. You can see it there. Unlucky for Sheldon. And unlucky for McCarthy. To get them back into the game and resurrect the season. Albert, and he does it. Sends got the wrong way. And maybe that will provide the spark of inspiration that Rangers have needed. Well, certainly it was a very silly thing for McCarthy to do, no matter how, how ominous the goal seems. And don't put your hand up and give away a penalty, but so competently dispatched by Albert. And back they have to go. Four is Petric. Van Bronckhorst. Shoving the back on uh, Amata, but he keeps his uh, legs well. But a good challenge there by Scully. And Kelly is badly challenged there by Ian Ferguson, who's only been on the field a matter of seconds. And a yellow card. Guarding the lone Shelbourne striker. There's Amoruso, there's Porini, there's Amato. That's a good delivery. Again, it was well defended, though, uh, Billy. Good delivery and a difficult one to, to defend positively. And really, the, the defender's got no option but to play over as far as he does here. Well, uh, McCarthy and Scully combining, and it's back across the edge of the area, and it's off the line. It's still not clear. Is it over? Yes, it is. Skidding across there and take your pick as to uh, just who got the final touch on that. Well, certainly I don't think you could argue with the match, or he's definitely claiming it, but uh, you know, good goal line clearance there. We, we see that, and Amato really does strike it, and yeah. You have got to give it to Definitely him. a right decision. Definitely the right decision. Certainly was, and Amato good finish and he'll be happy that's his first goal for his new club desperately unlucky though i mean they almost cleared it just jumped too soon and the keeper goff who's done nothing wrong all night but they were all back there gagan mccarthy scully and baker scrambling around with that ball. 
And that now has got the Rangers fans singing. Two away goals, remember. They now have. Here's Van Bronckhorst. Got to go for the return, is he? Van Bronckhorst. He's still there, Van Bronckhorst. Three all. When will the drama end here at Brenton Park? But it was a very well worked move once again. Intelligent running then from Van Broncos. But what about that for a little back heel? Well, it was a real quality goal because Van Broncos made it broke from midfield, knew exactly where he was sent, sent the pass in into a matter, holds up well, and that back heel worked to perfection. But a tremendous finish by Van Broncos. But it's all changed now. Well, incredible stuff here we've had tonight. From 3-0 down, literally seven or eight minutes ago, Rangers are back level at 3 all. His system wasn't working in the first half. He changed it, put your hands on the left-hand side, got Perini to break down that right-hand side, put a match up, to support Julian, things have worked for him. Well, they cannot quite believe they were 3-0 up against Glasgow Rangers. Remember we said Kilmarnock last year just hung on for a 3-2 victory over Shelburne. But Abagar breathing a huge sigh of relief here because his team were literally embarrassed for over an hour by the part-timers from Ireland. But this game is not over yet. Petric... Johansson, they're not tight on Johansson, they're allowing him to get control of the ball and run at them, Johansson, that's another good ball! 4-3 and it's Amato! Well, this time it's too much as the crowd spills onto the field to embrace their new hero. What an incredible turnaround. Well, he certainly knows how to put the ball in the net, but a good run here from Johansson. A delightful ball right to the back post, and you can't leave this fella unmarked in that area, and Shelburne have certainly paid the, the penalty there. What an astonishing turnaround. Well, they certainly haven't been tight enough on Johansson. Smith has been allowing him far too much space to bring the ball under control and then choose just where he wants to go. And that was an absolutely pinpoint perfect cross for Amato. And all he had to do was put it past Goff. Up Shelburne were after an hour. And they're now 4-3 down. still some more goals left in this final seven minutes this man will go on the hunt Amato but he's covered this time by McCarthy but Shelburne are looking a little tired now Billy well they must be totally disillusioned and shattered because they at 3-0 they looked as though so they were going to get an incredible result but really it swung round the other way and that's down to attitude and a positive aspect from Rangers certainly they got the luck with that first goal the penalty kick but from then on in They've really proved that they can, they, they, they can play and they've got pride in the performances. More danger than here for Shelburne as Rangers have another corner. That's another in-swing delivery. And uh, it's another penalty. No. Well, the referee slightly undecided. We've got to pick this one up here again. Now, was Amato fouled? Well, the referee was certainly and no hesitation whatsoever. No, oh, it's a... There's another... It's a clear penalty kick, and, you know, to, once again, it was McCarthy, and it's astonishing. And once again, it will be the number 11, Albert sends him the wrong way again. Rangers 5, Shelburne 3. realizing situations that need to be changed and having the experience to actually go with a decision that can make a fundamental change in the way the game has gone well they certainly made the right decision tonight but you've also got to remember